All right, Spark Mandrel stage. Let's talk about this one. Let's jump right in. So first thing we want to do is hold down your left swap as you're entering. Watch my input viewer. You see how I'm holding down left swap? It automatically goes to the ice. Hold that down, and then as soon as X hits the floor, fire, shot, and then dash. Ideally, you want to put the full ice shot into this. And just did. And then you're going to fire a follow-up ice shot. So fire, the whole thing went inside of him. Fire again to kill him. As you fire again, you're jumping to this ladder. Demonstrate it all well. I see that sometimes you can fire too soon or too late. Try to get your timing right. Boom, like that. And then as you're going up the ladder, uh, switch weapons left wise. Uh, there's a reason to do it left to the tornado. Reason being, I'm not going to show you the hard strat for the next part. I'm going to show you the. Though. Just as you're falling, fire the tornado so you kill both of those guys at once. So I'm going to show you the whole sequence up to the sub, up to the sub tank. So that that switch left the tornado. As you're falling, fire it. I believe it is right swap. It's a right swap. Ice, fire, fire. Good tornado as you're falling, killed, killed. Now, when you're right swapping the tornado, you want to fight when you're right, right swapping from tornado to boomerang, you want to jump past this ladder. And as X is falling, fire your boomerang so it, like it hooks downwards like that and grabs the sub tank. And then, as soon as you confirm it grabs the sub tank, start running away from your. So, again, switch to ice. Fire dash fire. See, I I have an I have a different method. Let me show you my method of doing this. Um, my method is a little bit harder. I do a charge here, but I think my method is slightly faster. I do like this whole complicated buster thing. You can try that if you want, but the, I'm teaching you this tornado method. I just have to get used to it. Fire fire jump. That happened. To mine. Uh, let me keep trying. Fire, fire, switch to tornado. Tornado as you're falling. Dead. Nope. See, there's no real easy way to do this section. This is one of the hard parts of the speedrun. Tornado, fall, fire, kill, kill. There, hook down and run. The, and uh, make sure you're charging while you're running away from the sub tank as well. So I'm going to demonstrate that again. That was one step I forgot to say. Fire, fire, tornado. Falling, fire, dead, dead, right, tornado, charge, and you want to grab the sub tank right there on the ladder. So we'll save state there, you got your sub tank. Switch to your ice right away. Go up here and practice killing this guy with your ice shot. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna dash, let go of ice, and then ice him again. So ready? It's gonna be dash like go oh, right again. Dash, let go of ice, and then pop ice again. So you're you're what you're doing. You're hitting him with the ice sled, which is breaking right on him. And as soon as it breaks, you're firing another ice shot to finish him off. Ice, 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 boom, and then get down the ladder. Okay. Ice, ice, boom, and you're charging right away yet again. So, ice, ice, boom, get down the ladder. You're charging again from this ladder. Don't dash here, because you see how I loaded that lower right guy? Instead, what we're going to do is ice, ice, boom. Start charging. Jump from this ladder. So you see I didn't load the bottom guy. He causes lag. So you'll jump to here. You'll dash up to this guy. Right when you're about to hit this guy is when you pop your C-Sting invincibility. You're going to go through this whole section. I'll try and explain this a little bit by bit. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. I did that kind of late, by the way, but... All right, so anyway, ice, ice, we established that. Save state on top of this ladder. Jump, dash, jump. Fire, sea sting there, take out. You want to get you want to get rid of these little light guys because they cause a lot of lag. You know what? I think I'm going to make it easier. So again, just remember, you're popping sea sting right before you get that guy. Now, 
You'll notice these two dots on the ceiling, these two black, I don't know, ovals. So you see one oval here, one oval here. As soon as you pass the second oval, like where the third oval would be, fire a shot and then dash. If you if you do it right, hold on, let me, fire shot, dash, you do it right, you should pop that top light guy. So when you're going in, right there, fire a shot and keep dashing, you should pop that guy. Get over here. So that's where the oval is, boom. And just kind of jump through these guys as efficiently as you can. When you get to this platform, you need that, you're gonna have to kill another light guy. Boom. Jump, you get to this platform, pop another light guy, jump up here, pop another light guy, jump up here, pop another light guy. You have to remember the locations where you're popping light guys. So let's, uh, let's try that again. Light guy one. Guy two. Guy three, light guy four, and then by here you should run out of sea sting. So what you're gonna have to do after you pop light guy four is quickly switch back to ice and just jump and try your best to kill this ostrich in one hit. If you have to stop, like that might be a little bit difficult for this tutorial. So what I could I could what I could also recommend is just all this. Um, Okay, if you have to stop and use the tornado to kill both of these ostriches like that, feel free. It'll cost you a second, but, you know, it's pretty safe. So let me try and demonstrate this really safe way. Pop light guy, jump, pop light guy, pop light guy, stop, switch the tornado, and be charging, by the way. And then we're going to get down here, because this is the mini boss Thunder Slimer. We'll cover him in a moment. I'm going to show you this a couple more times. Light guy, platform light guy, jump light guy, platform light guy. We'll switch in tornado. I think you got that cup. So here, this is the Thunder Slimer mini boss. There's a chance he can. Here, I'll show you his bubble move. There's a chance he can do this bubble move as you're walking into the arena. It sucks when it happens, but there is absolutely a chance he can do. It. So that time I had time to move. I, I just want to demonstrate like what's bad. I'll, I'll demonstrate what's good. So what you have to do is you want to, as soon as you get control, you want to fire your charged tornado so that the right tip of the charged tornado hits his bubble. Like only the right tip. The reason you do that is like, look, if I could go all the way under him and fire it, but it, I could do it right here and get the same result. So why not save the time? The right tip. And I would say if you want to aim the right tip, you see like this black thing in the background here that I'm kind of thunder slime right now. This black thing, oh there we go. Black thing in the background. I would say when you're right about in the middle of it is when you can unleash. So let's see. Yeah, something like that. Maybe a little bit. Alright, so what do you do after the tornado? You release it, you jump up, you tornado him once, you start charging, and then you just tornado him again. Do that again. So th this fight is really easy on Honda. So tornado, jump up, tornado, hold, charge tornado, tornado him again. When you tornado him the last time with the charge tornado, you wanna you wanna try and be directly under him, but not for too long if that. Makes sense. See, he keeps doing this thing where like he bubbles me in the beginning of the fight. That causes lag and it's really annoying. And now he's gonna unleash more bubbles, which cause more lag. He, hopefully, he just. Hopefully he doesn't fire bubbles at all. If he does, you want to make sure you're... So, something like this will do. That's a good fight. You, you're, you know you do it right when he starts to descend upon you as you're killing him. Don't be directly under him like this, though, because he might descend early and hit you. It still works, but you don't want to take the hit. Oh, you see, I messed up there. Can I recover it? Two, three, four. That's fine. I'll do it a few more times so you can it's really easy. Charge tornado, jump up, tornado, and charge tornado. That's it. So what I'll do. Alright, next section. You want to be on tornado still? Jump up here. Just this is movement. When you jump dash jump to this thing, you see this yellow, I don't know, conductor in the background? You want to fire or tornado or tornado right at like the top of this thing. Like you see, like the golden screw part at the top. 
But X is it's with X is passing that you want to fire a tornado and then kick off because you want to kill that yellow guy. I'll demonstrate again. Oh, yeah, the other. Let's see. Here. So the idea is you want to do that. You want to you want to get to this platform as the tornado kills him. And if you're really fast, you can get the tornado to kill this terror guy. That was. I forgot, so I'm gonna get tornado. Kill that guy, Tornado will also kill that turret guy. Tornado. And then jump straight into this pit. Luckily, the game is pretty cool in the sense that if you jump over this brown yellow guy and just keep holding right, you'll just jump right where you jump right through the pit where you need to be. Now this pit section is sort of just jumping through enemies. Okay. You just go as fast as you can. I'll 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 demonstrate uh, about that tornado later. I'm just showing what the section of the stage looks like. Oh, all right. Anyway, so here, tornado. This is all just movement. You can kind of, you can tornado some of these guys like that if you want to. Like that. That's all pretty self-explanatory until when you get to about here, like this wall right here, because on this wall, you're gonna jump up and then. As you, as X touches this wall, you want to fire a tornado and try and get the tornado to kill this turtle guy, which means you have to be really, really quick. I don't know if that level of speed is acceptable for this tutorial. Like, if you could do it, awesome. But if not, let me quickly think of a backup strat. Let's say you, let's say you're slow and you can't get the turtle. What do you? I would say just take the bonk on the turtle and then. Go for this heart grab. Then again, you know what? That that heart grab might be too advanced for this tutorial as well. I'll tell you what, we'll do. We'll do this instead. I showed you the optimal strat, but for this tutorial, don't worry about it. We're gonna do this. Go up here. Forget the tornado. You're gonna tornado. You're gonna tornado that thing. You're gonna switch the boomerang, and you're just gonna go up here and boomerang the heart. And if you can't do that, just uh, try and just go up here and manually. Definitely want to learn the boomerang that hard, but it's something that's kind of hard to teach. Like, it's something you need to... So I'm not going to do the normal strat. Hell, you can probably skip this turtle, honestly. I just like dashing up to this, and as I dash jump off the wall, as X is ascending, I just fire the boomerang. That should grab the heart. Just like that. So here, that's the strat we'll use for... We'll just uh, move through these guys. Don't worry about this tornado. Just... Move as best you can, jump over the turtle, and like I said, jump towards the wall as you're ascending, do the boomerang. That's it. One more time for this section, and we'll move. Boom. Boom. It's all just movement. There's, not, there's nothing to this. You can switch the boomerang. Now, as you do this, though, make sure you're going down the ladder. So you know you save some time. So this part, do your best to avoid these guys. Uh, you know, let me actually. So just try and avoid him, avoid him, jump over this guy. Now that jump I just did here is actually a very hard jump to get from there to there. So what's probably going to happen, probably going to wind up doing something like this and like landing there. You might even bonk the turtle guy. Don't worry about it. Just stay on these platforms and then turtle, turtle guys, by the way, will not get you as long as you're moving quick. So something like this is probably up there. If you can't fully mimic that, that's okay, because that's actually hard movement. You could do this instead. Here, how about this? This is this will be an alternate. Instead of jumping on the pillar, just jump in between. And again, don't worry, the turtles will if you're fast, the turtles will not activate. I'm just staying on the screen. So something like this. Let me not screw that up. Something like this is acceptable. Now, I've also seen another strat, actually. If you're willing to get the heart and charge a tornado, you can do this, actually. Ready? This Boom. Like that. If that's your cover. Either way, you're getting up to here. So my personal advice for this area, use the C-Sting. So C-Sting here. C-Sting there. Switch to Buster. There's a lot of ways to do this final section here. But my preferred method, personally, is Buster... See sting swap. That's my preferred method. That's a little bit of a complicated method. 
You want to buster this guy so that if he drops hell, like ammo, you won't get stopped. There are people who could like do a buster strat there like that. I find that strat very difficult, so I don't like to use. I don't like to use it too much. But anyway, buster, C sting. Now, fun fact about Mega Man X, and not a lot of people know this. If let's say you see how they're C sting, flame, tornado, whatever. I'm in the middle of my weapons. If I fire one and I just hold down both shoulder buttons, holding down both shoulder buttons switches you back to buster automatically. So no matter where you are in the weapon rotation, you switch back to buster by pressing both shoulder buttons. That's useful for this section. Because I go C sting, as soon as I fire, I'm holding down buster. As soon as I fire my C sting, I'm holding down buster so that I can, uh, both shoulder buttons so that I can get back to buster. Alright, but that being said... Buster, C Sting, hold down, shoot these light guys. You just gotta remember where the light guys are coming from. There's not much I could say about that section, just try your best to get through it. You wanna make sure you have a level 2 charge, this gold charge, coming into the fight, though. This boss fight's pretty easy, actually. Uh, you wanna start off with a gold charge, if that's too complicated, just start off with ice. So, gold charge, switch the ice by pressing left. And that's it. So he's frozen for a couple frames, and then not for like. Look how easy this fight is. Sometimes he could rush punch towards you, but don't even worry about that. So you ideally you want to shoot him in a way where like most of the ice is not on screen anymore. So close to him. So here, let me, let me say the pattern out loud. So shoot one close to him, then bounce off the wall. Oh, see, there's his rush punch. Sometimes he does it. Shoot one close to him. Shoot one close. Oh. Here we go. Close to him, at the wall for the bounce. Close to him, at the wall for the bounce. Close to him, at the wall for the bounce. Close to him, at the wall for the bounce. Close to him. Ugh, God. Hard pattern. No. Try it again. See, he sometimes rush punches. It sucks. Alright. Close to him, at the wall. 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 I'll demonstrate a few more times. So close to him, close to him. Sometimes, so you just want to get like a rhythm going. Some you can do all close to him if you want, like this. But I, I just find it more annoying. As long as you keep him in like this little loop, it's fine. Close to him at the wall. Problem if you always do close to him, he could do shit like that and get away. You, if you do, if you do a mix of close to him at the wall, he has less options essentially. Look at this, like he's stuck. Like, look at this, he's so stuck. The only the only way he gets unstuck is if I mess up. Let's see. Close to him, at the wall. 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 See, he could still rush punch, that happens. Just beat him and make sure you're at the center of the stage. That concludes Spark Mandrel stage. I will show you the stage select now to get to the next boss, Armin Armadillo. This one's actually kind of a complicated stage select. I would just do diagonal down, down, go. Whatever you need to do to get to Armored Armadillo. Anyway, I will see you there.